get action in a script, it's got to work for the characters. It's got to work for the script. Because sometimes less is more. In the beginning, Denny and I had sat and talked to you about each sequence that there's a fight. Why am I doing this and why am I doing that? That's what it's all about. If Ryan's a killing machine, I want it brutal and fast because this is what they are programmed to do. Sapper Morton is a character that is trying to live a life of his own design, and that's not permitted. So it's my character's job to go and put an end to that. He realizes that this could be the end for him, possibly. You know, so you get that replicant versus replicant. Sapper is like a replicant that is at the end of his lifespan. We designed a fight where there's no emotion. It's a replicant. These aren't human beings. Cash feed, here we go. Once okay. Sapper comes after him with a scalpel, it's game on. Just pop! And then go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's start it. He's so strong and he's so big, his fist is going six to eight inches in through concrete walls. We just wanted Sapper to be so visceral that he actually grabs him by the head and just beats his head into the frickin' wall. You know, we built special foam and pyrosol walls. It's just nothing a human would take. They wanted to tell the story of the updated model. You see the, obviously, size difference, the physical difference, but then you see that it really doesn't matter <laughs> because the new models are just so superior. How does it feel killing your own kind? I don't retire my own kind because we don't run. In the casino fight, you gotta remember that Harrison's character, Deckard, has been in hiding for 30-something years. Cut. Great, 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 great. He's tracked down by the character that Ryan plays. There's misunderstanding at first, and then there is action. You're a cop. They do a nice fight through this casino with glitching, you know, holograms going off and dancing girls and Elvis singing in the background. I mean, it's just so incongruous that it works. We came up with Ryan should let Deckard just beat the tar out of him. Never throw a punch, not hurt him to prove, hey, I'm not here to kill you. You're building that little bit of trust. Action! Look, I don't want to hurt you, but you're not making it easy. Okay. <laughs> just pre anticipate that. Sorry. Uh... Harrison, man, you're talking about a legend. He's like an old stunt man. He just goes for it. I mean, here's a guy 74 years old, hitting the ground in water all night long. And he was, he was doing it. I mean, he's in there. He's let's go. Cut it, save it, cut it. Then we have the fight with love. So here's another replicant. She's built of the same material as Kay is. She's made to be a killer. Where is he? She's just as powerful, if not more so, than he is. She wants to be the best in her fear that if she is not the best, that she'll be retired. I'm the best one. Here comes the wave. Action! The fight between her and Ryan, it's a pretty incredible sequence. It's fast, it's brutal, it's real. Hurt him now, take him out, whatever we gotta do, let's get it done.
I designed a base for the fight, and then when we got Sylvia Hooks here, we started training her because she had never really done fights before. When I started training for this, I felt like I transformed into a very strong human being, and that helped me to be the character. I felt, in a sense, more like a machine. And action! Ah! Ryan gets the shit kicked out of him, and he delivers it right back. Ah! 